Hi, this is Ashley from T's Company underscore one back with another reading. And this reading is going to be on how Cardi B's label feels about Nicki Minaj. Okay, so they're both supposed to be dropping music um, pretty soon. Um, as you guys can obviously see on Twitter, um, a lot of songs have been registered. Some songs are old from... I think her mixtapes and then there's a few new songs that she has registered. So I just wanted to see how Cardi B's label feels about Nicki Minaj. Okay, before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading is strictly for entertainment purposes only and we're about to get into it, okay? So let's see how do they really truly feel about Nicki Minaj and how they feel about her dropping music, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about um, working on something, determination, um, trying to be strategic. So they do got their eye on Nikki, okay? They do got their eye on her. Um, I'm already seeing that they probably know when she's going to drop. It seems as though, but they're willing to do some type of business deal with her, okay? They're willing to um, do some type of business deal with her. It looks like it could be in regards to Cardi. It could be um, in working with other artists. You know, I believe Roddy Rich is under their label. Um, I think NBA Youngboy is under Atlantic unless he got out of his deal. Um, so it looks like they're willing to work with her, okay? Um but, you know, it would have to be, you know, meeting them halfway, them constructing a deal, um, probably, you know, Irvin or in her in her team talking to that label. So it looks like they're willing to work with her. They are watching to see when she drops. It looks like they probably already know when she's dropping. OK, and then we have the nine of wands. OK, this talks about waiting for an opportunity. OK, watching and waiting stagnant energy. So they are watching her. Um, as you guys know. Cardi B coming up off of two number one songs. So she I heard that she was dropping her album soon, but also Rihanna's supposed to be dropping music too. Drake hasn't dropped Certified Lover Boy, so I don't know if they're going to be doing it on top of each other, but I heard all these projects are supposed to be coming really soon, okay? We also got the Knight of Swords here. This talks about fighting, um, you know, challenging one another. And so they feel like when it comes to Nicki Minaj, it's always um, some sort of pushback. Because like I told you guys um, before, you know, uh, allegedly Cardi really wants to work with Nicki and she's already reached out to Nicki. But it looks like, you know, Nicki's kind of giving them pushback and she kind of really doesn't want to do a collaboration with Cardi, okay? And so, because I feel like, um, from what I was told, that they already had talked about it, but, you know, Nikki hasn't really gave her final answer, so that they feel like, you know, she's kind of being difficult, giving them pushback, and they're willing to work with her, okay? Um, the Page of Wands is here. This talks about um, perfect timing, waiting. Um, this also talks about stagnation. So it almost seems like as though they're, they want to work with her they're willing to meet her halfway but she doesn't fully trust them and that's why she's kind of giving them pushback also i don't think she really wants to really do a collaboration with cardi even if it would go number one okay so there's a lot of stagnant energy in these cards okay but they do want to work want to work with her or want their artists to work with her okay um it looks as though they are watching her though okay they are watching to see when she will be dropping it looks like they might know when she's dropping unless she has a tight knit um team like Beyonce and you know how Beyonce gets down you know anybody that talks you're out 
okay? She fires people with a drop of a dime. I don't think Nikki is as strict as that, but, you know, it looks like um, they are watching her. So how do they feel about her releasing music? Okay. How does Cardi's label feel about Nikki releasing music? How does Cardi's label feel about her releasing music? So we got the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So we got the Ten of Pentacles. This kind of talks about um, something kind of being successful, a leadership role, mentorship. Um, so it looks like they do feel like her music can be successful, but they just don't want it to take over um, Cardi's shine, okay? So they don't want it to take over Cardi's shine, Okay, they want obviously Cardi to succeed. Um, it looks like they will be trying to pull strings behind the scenes. Okay, the King of Cups here is here, and this talks about manipulation. So they will be trying to pull um, stuff behind the scenes, and um, that's technically their job because when you're a label, it's a competition. You want your artist to be the most successful artist, or you want the artists on your label like Bruno, Roddy Rich. Um, Cardi to be successful, okay? And so it looks like there could be strings being pulled behind the scenes, okay? We got the lover's card in reverse. This talks about disharmony and um, two people, and this could be between Cardi and Nikki, being that, you know, one party wants to collaborate, the other party really um, hasn't really given them an answer, that stagnant energy, they might feel some type of way about that, okay? Since they extended the olive branch, and if you didn't accept, or you kind of haven't gotten back to them, they could feel some type of way about that. Um, the Eight of Swords is here, okay? And this is in reverse. This talks about feeling trapped. And that's how Nikki feels. Nikki feels like she knows how powerful, you know, Cardi, Cardi's label is. But she just doesn't want to do business with them, okay? It looks like, you know, Irvin might tell her it's a good idea and might try to help her get it back from it or, you know, um, try to convince her to do it. But it doesn't really look like she really wants to collaborate with Cardi, okay? And it looks like that's what Atlantic really wants. And I feel like if she collaborates with Cardi, they will um, be a bit nicer to her, okay? Or may not be as strategic behind the scenes with her. Um, the Six of Cups is in here, and this is in reverse. This kind of represents, like, if you help me, I will help you. You know, if you get Cardi a number one, or if you work with Cardi, we'll be a little bit nice. We won't be as strategic behind the scenes. Uh, we might be willing to work with you even a little bit more. So that's what I'm getting from these cards. It seems like they are not too happy about, you know, Nikki not getting back to them about this collaboration. There's a lot of collaboration cards in here. The Lover's card, the Ten of Pentacles, this talks about, you know, working with someone, something not being successful, uh, mentorship. So it does look like eventually, you know, they're going to try to talk to her again in regards to this collaboration, okay? The Six of Swords is here, and this is in reverse. This talks about walking away from a situation or leaving something alone, okay? So it does look like they really want to collaborate with Nikki, um, and because they know it's going to go number one, it's going to break the internet. They're going to make a lot of money off of it. They're really, they're even willing to give her a bag, but she hasn't really gotten back to them. And that's kind of frustrating them, okay? And the A of Swords, again, is here. And this talks about somebody being trapped, you know, feeling trapped, feeling like you can't really do what you want to do. Um, you know, she already gets a lot of requests, but she wants to, 
Nikki likes to work with people that she she has some sort of relationship with or rapport. She doesn't really like to work with people when there's bad blood or when all the issues haven't been resolved. And it seems as though she's still harboring old feelings, okay? So even though there might not be any issues right now with Cardi, it's like, you know, you don't just forgive and forget. It's like you forgive, but you remember what someone has done to you, okay? So that's how they really feel, okay? They're a little frustrated about this collaboration that they really want to happen. If you like the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This reading was strictly for entertainment purposes only, and I hope you have a good day.